Hey, it's Mark from the Antique Wireless Museum. Today on my bench, I've got the Antique Wireless Association's Universal Battery Eliminator Circuit Board. And this has been fully populated with all the components to make it functional. I'm just going to do a short uh, look at it today. I won't be powering it up, but I'm going to take a look at the various features. So this circuit board was designed uh, to meet the basic requirements for a battery eliminator that could cover pretty much all the vintage A, B, and C battery powered radios. For the A or filament supply, which is this section here from this transformer down through these terminals here, we decided on a uh, voltage range from 1.25 to 6 volts DC at a continuous load of up to 4 amps. For the B supply, which is this middle section here, supplied by this transformer, we chose DC voltages of 22, 45, 67, 90, 135, and 180 volts. And then this section here is the C supply. And for C voltages, we decided on negative 4.5 volts, negative 9 volts, negative 16.5 volts, and negative 22.5 volts. The way the circuit board is laid out, each supply is independent. So if you really didn't need to have, say, a C supply, you could eliminate that entirely and just build up the A and B sections. Although, aside from running a particular radio, this circuit board would be a nice bench accessory for general tube uh, radio experiments. This circuit board was designed with uh, readily available parts from the major electronics distributors. Although, there's no reason you couldn't use junk box parts instead, although junk box parts may not fit on the board and you might have to mount them off board. So when you purchase this, you're purchasing the circuit board only, and it is up to you to populate the board with your own components. This circuit board can be powered from either 115 volts or 230 volts, depending on your needs. The A, B, and C supplies are all isolated from each other, and they're also isolated from ground. Each one of these supplies, A, B, and C, is protected from momentary shorts to its local common lead. However, care must be taken to prevent voltage-to-voltage -voltage shorts. All of the supplies on this board are series regulated to eliminate the possibility of RF interference. To minimize power consumption on this supply, TIP50 emitter followers are used following the Zener regulator, and this provides a very low source impedance of current when the load is connected. This keeps the power dissipation on the Zener regulators down to about 7 tenths of a watt. With the exception of the 180 volt supply, each individual B plus supply can provide up to 50 MA in a standalone configuration where multiple voltages are required from the B plus supply. The combined current draw from the 22, 45, 67, 90, and 135 volt supplies must be limited to 50 MA. If the 180 volt supply is used, it can handle up to 80 MA all by itself, but the total current draw from all the B plus supplies cannot exceed 80 MA. This is the heat sinking limit of the pass transistors, particularly Q1. The C supply is simpler and it provides its voltages from a string of Zener diodes. Total current draw can be 10 to 20 MA. For further information about the AWA Universal Battery Eliminator, see the link below.